Let's do something like this. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are at BWE Firearms today. Um, we are going to be working on a barrel blank for a 1022. I hope I'm in focus because I'm not really good at using iPhone cameras. Because you suck. And I'm shaky. Yeah. So we have, a, we have an iPhone over here. iPhone. We have a uh, 1022 barrel blank that I picked up that is 920. It's huge. Big old thick, th thick thing. And we want to mill that down on VWE's CNC mill. Lathe. We're gonna lathe it down on his CNC lathe. We're and gonna turn it. We're gonna turn it. And uh, Richard's gonna take us through the process, kind of show us how this works. Uh, I, I figured this would be kind of an interesting video because I don't know how any of this works. This is all new to me. I'm somewhat familiar with manual. CNC is, is a whole nother level, so we'll see how that goes. All right. kind of cat what catting out what we need first yeah, just figuring out the the points i need to use and check out that that's a 3d it's a 3d mouse yeah i'm not quite sure what that does yet but it sounds awesome it makes life easier so yeah we're gonna we're gonna cad some of this out i'll be back once we get the dimensions and everything so just did some basic line work um we're using another a very popular company's um well very expensive companies taper that they have on their website. So we're gonna use the same numbers that they have, um, except their barrel's obviously a 20, what'd you say? 20, 21 inch. 21 inch, we're working with a 16, so we made a little bit of adjustment there. Um, and it's gonna taper from, uh, the shank will be a 920 for three inches and then taper all the way out to, what did we say we're doing? Uh, Seven, 750. 750 at the end. We'll see what kind of weight reduction that gives us. We found a collet, I'm gonna come around over here and show you. We found a collet that fits perfectly on the uh, the uh, intersection here that goes into the receiver. Um, so we are going to change the chuck out. Uh, right now we have a four jaw. We're gonna change the four jaw out to a collet chuck and thread the collet chuck in and then use the uh, um, live center back here to- so If I can things. persuade this off. Gently. <laughs> Gently persuade. Yep, we got it locked in. Uh, collet chuck, colleted to there running to a live center, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do here. Start making some chips, cutting things down. What's next? Next, we're gonna program it. All right, we're gonna get programming. So we're gonna go to... Program. And... Let's see here. What to call it, what to call it. We need a good name for it. BFP 1022. <laughs> Unless you want something, you know, normal, like, uh, you know, varmint taper, of course. Yeah. That, because that's what it is, that way I'll know what it is. Uh, and then we go to beginning. Then we go cycle turn. And we're gonna start Seven five at We'll be back when we figure out the numbers 16, out. I'll be back when we got set up. You can see we put our numbers in. Um, running through all of this. Sorry. And we might have to change the Yeah, we may make some changes. You know. Um, fine tuning it. Let's see, approach. So we're approaching from the Z, so we're going to approach from we're over gonna here. We're going to approach from here yep. at 750. Yep. And go to here at, at 920. 920. Um, we're going to 16, so it's a 16-inch barrel. So we're going a little bit over where the start is, and we're going to approach from off the metal and on. Um, we're using tool number four, which is uh, one of the carbide bits that we have over there. Um, and then you can see we have the finish cuts, the surface speed increases a little bit on the finish cut, and we use the same tool. All right. Turn that off so I don't add anything. Yeah, accidentally. Somehow I don't want to touch it now because we're... Oh, because we're already zero. We're zero so. so we took a bit of a scratch pass, uh, took some calipers to it to check the dimension of that, zeroed our tooling out so we know exactly where we are in a... I guess you'd call it a 2D space since it's not quite 3D. It's 2D, Ford, 
forward and backwards and left to right. So the machine now is set up exactly, it knows exactly where it's at. We programmed it to cut what we want. And basically what, we just hit, hit go. We're gonna, you know. Hit go and hopefully we don't crash go. it. Yeah, see what happens. <laughs> see how bad we crash it. All right, and we're gonna give it some juice. Get some coolant going. Give it a nice shower. Fix her up. I'm gonna come back in. With this door, this door is not Long enough. So I'm gonna do what everybody hates. We're not gonna. So we're definitely not going to set off the safety by yeah. doing anything over there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, the safety is definitely engaged and safe. To those. This is how I do barrels. So. <laughs> I can follow the door along. Yeah, you just, just move the door back and so forth. So otherwise, it'll, we're it'll taking splashed. it back. Yeah. There is a beautifully tapered 1022 barrel. Took a little bit of meat off of it. Looks good. That was awesome. What we got? So here is the uh, 1022, the Sarco 1022 barrel that I bought. Uh, we we uh, trimmed it down from a uh, 920 over here to a 750. It's a nice heavy profile, but it, it's not too heavy. It's not ridiculous. It honestly weighs about the same. This is a 16 inch barrel. Heavy profile bull barrel with a thread weighs about the same as this uh, Ruger 18 inch barrel. Um, so these two, with the original Ruger's pencil taper, probably honestly weigh about the same. So I think it's great.